Hi everybody, so this is a very fast, absolutely incomplete description of a software, an editor for the R language called RStudio. So the way you, I'm, I'm on a Mac, uh, so the way I open RStudio is to do command space, uh, and then I just start typing, it gives me RStudio there, and I open it up. Now you might not see exactly the same screen that I'm seeing because I already did some uh, customization but I, I just want to show you the main features here. So for starters, you know, uh, 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 on this top, well, let's start from the, the left. So here you have a regular uh, uh, terminal for R. So you can type commands and get this in a, uh, you know, in real time. And that's okay. So that's one window. And then here on the top left corner, you have a combination of your workspace. A workspace is basically this underlying setup for uh, R. You know, sometimes you might want to set a standard set of, uh, for example, packages or uh, uh, that uh, you're going to be in, uh, uh, um, attaching every time. Uh, or data sets or you know whatever you would like now from here you can also import data sets and you can import them from text and you can import them from a, a URL uh, on the same page you have the history so these are commands that I used in the past and it keeps a, a, a track a, a record here these uh, other documents here are about like Files. So, for example, if I were to have a file on my uh, my working space, uh, you know, every single file listed there uh, can be seen here. Later on, we're going to see how to set uh, your working space, which is or your working directory, which is where your uh, documents are, where R is going to look for your uh, files, unless you specify a given path. Here you also have the plots. At this point I don't have any plots here but I could uh, potentially you know have a list of all the plots that I generated and then I can export also once I select my plots export them as PDF as an image or copy them to the clipboard. This section here is important it's about well all of them are important but uh, this one is very important because this one has your packages. So from here, uh, you can do things such as, for example, install a package. Um, trying to think about one. Let's see, GLM. No. Uh, LM. Let's see. Not available. I'm trying to think about some package. So let's see. Let me just open up, go to CRAN, look at some packages. Sort it by name. Let's see. You know, I'm just going to pick the first one, ABC. So if I were here, and if I were to put ABC, it would basically install the package for me. So right now it's pulling all the, the components for ABC. And then once it's done, it's going to list ABC around here, uh, as you can see. And then if I click on ABC, it's going to uh, call the package. Now, if I uncheck, then it's going to detach the package. You can also check for updates. Uh, it's going to check for every single uh, package that I have here and tell me whether uh, they need some kind of update. And then I can also get a help. So this is the, the help is similar to what you would find in the CRAN um, page. This page here, uh, Comprehensive R Archive Network. Uh, but you can get them within here. So this is basically about the you know these screens. On top of this, you can have the preferences where you can do a lot of customization. So you know I was mentioning before how to set up your working direct 
at directory. I've set it up in my case to my desktop, uh, but you could set it up anywhere. Uh, editing. I believe that uh, the the original setup is not to have a soft uh, wrapped for our source files. I usually like to to have them wrapped just to keep them you know tight and uh, easy to read. Uh, here's where I selected the blue color for my editor, but you could select whatever you want, like the Eclipse. Uh, so it's a variation in terms of the background and uh, how exactly you know which colors are are used. And then the pane. So you you can have four windows, and then you can choose exactly what you would like for each one of them. Um, so that's about uh, preferences. Um, in addition, uh, files, um, you can select, for example, for an R script, which is where your uh, commands are going to be uh, stored. And then from here, once you have your commands, um, you can do a bunch of things. So, for example, you can run the entire thing. Uh, or you can source the active documents. Now, sourcing means you send the script to R, and R runs the whole thing. Okay, and uh, if you click on this option, every time you source, uh, it's also going to save the file. You have a few other documents that you can create, such as, for example, a Swave document. Now, for a Swave, uh, for those of you who don't know this, Swave is a uh, uh, part of a, what we call lit, uh, uh, literate programming. So it's the idea that you would write, for example, a paper, and inside the paper, a scientific paper, and inside that scientific paper you would have the statistical code. Uh, and then here you have some, um, some ways of, of course, you know, the same way to run your code. You can also compile this to PDF. Uh, Swave uses LaTeX. Uh, and so if you have LaTeX installed to your computer, you can compile it to uh, PDF. Uh, what else? Um, here, you know, you can run the code, uh, as we mentioned before. So instead of clicking, you can do the regular running. Uh, source, source with echo. Source with echo, the difference between the two is that with source, it just, it's just going to run the entire code. Uh, with source of echo, every time it runs a new command, uh, it will display the results. Uh, view, you can view different things, uh, you know, load the workspace. I mentioned about the workspace before. Uh, R can, you know, through a series of packages, you can basically import almost anything, any kind of file, so from Stata, from SAS, a text file. But from the menu, the, the main options are text file and from a URL. So commands in relation to plots, set working directory, we've seen that. Uh, install packages, we've seen that. Uh, Windows, and then help. Um, very important here, you have the uh, shortcuts. So if you want to get really, really fast with RStudio, uh, it's good to memorize some of these commands. It's not essential. You can always do them do just with the uh, clicking through the you know using a mouse. But um, shortcuts make your are in the long run. They're going to make your job much 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 easier. That's it.